Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Mama June, family crisis couple Josh E. Fern and his wife Lauren Pumpkin, Shannon Efford, admit they have their hands and house full. They say it is a daily struggle to support and care for their four children, Ella Efford, Bentley Efford, and twins, Stella Efford and Silas Efford. Also in their care and residing in their home is Pumpkin's younger sister, Alana, Honey Boo Boo Thompson. So it is easy to see why he wants to put a halt to having any more children. Despite having more than their share of full-time diaper duty, Lauren still can't resist getting flirty and suggestive with her husband. During a clip from Mama June, Family Crisis, Josh is making snacks for the kids when he asks Pumpkin if she would like a snack. Lauren took this as an opportunity to get flirty with her husband saying she would take him for a snack. However, her husband shuts down her suggestive talk right away saying that they already have four kids, so he thinks there should be none of that. The young parents say their responsibilities are overwhelming. So as far as he is concerned at the moment, more children, or doing anything that could result in more children is out of the question. The couple's banter continues and is all in fun. Pumpkin comments on Josh's pecs, and he tells her it is called a dad bod. Josh Efford putting his wife on ice is all a joke. In 2022, following the birth of the couple's twins, she was asked if they were planning on having more children. Immediately, she replied that she had tied her tubes. During the new season of Mama June, Family Crisis Pumpkin and Josh are struggling financially. She is also angry that her mom, June Shannon, failed to send Alana's child support payment on time. In the season opener, June is seen in the car with husband Justin Strad. She tells him to remind her to write out that check for Pumpkin when I get home, because you know can't be late. Gotta be able to have that check. Money looks to remain a sensitive issue between the women throughout the season, especially after June spends $300 on a pair of shoes for Alana. Lauren becomes furious telling her husband that Mama June always fixes things by buying Alana expensive gifts. June Shannon knows that her daughter and her son-in-law are having hard times, yet instead of offering to help them in any way, whether it is financially or with the children, June has another idea. She suggests that she and her daughters attend a weekend therapy session. None of the girls want to go, but Mama June pushes them. She hopes that if they seek counseling, they can come to terms and finally move forward with their relationship. The Shannon sisters learn that Mama June is planning a wedding. Even though she and Justin Strud are married, they want to renew their vows in a proper ceremony. Not only is she spending money on this lavish peach wedding, but she also wants all four of her daughters to attend. None of Mama June's daughters care to participate in either the weekend counseling retreat or her upcoming wedding. However, they decide to try again to clear the air with the Mama June family crisis star. She is fed up with how much money June Shannon is throwing around for her wedding. This is especially when she has to call to get June to send out her monthly child support check. It is all about to get very messy. Lauren Efford and her husband Josh Efford have enough children to take care of. Even so, Pumpkin feels she is by far a more loving and supportive mother than June Shannon of Mama June. Family crisis ever was. She has a lot to get off her chest. And she knows one thing for certain June is not going to like hearing it. The sun was setting over the rural Georgia landscape, casting a warm glow over the Thompson family's modest home. Inside, tensions brewed like a storm on the horizon. Mama June Shannon sat on the worn-out couch, her eyes fixed on the flickering television screen, but her mind elsewhere. Beside her, her daughter Lauren Pumpkin Shannon fidgeted nervously, stealing glances at the closed door of Josh Eford's bedroom down the hallway. Josh had always been a steadfast presence in Pumpkin's life, her husband and the father of their young daughter, Ella. However, in recent months, cracks had begun to appear in their once solid relationship. The strain was palpable, exacerbated by Mama June's return to their lives after a turbulent period of addiction and separation. As the family attempted to rebuild what had been shattered, 
Pumpkin found herself seeking solace in moments of normalcy, even if they were fleeting. Tonight was one such night, or so she hoped. The soft murmur of the TV was suddenly interrupted by the creak of Josh's bedroom door. He emerged, his tall frame blocking the hallway light for a moment before he stepped into the living room. His expression was stoic, his eyes tired but resolute. Pumpkin's heart skipped a beat as she met his gaze. There was a time when just a look from him could make her feel safe and loved. Now, uncertainty clouded the air between them like a thick fog. Mama, I'm gonna take Ella out for a bit, Josh announced, his voice gruff, but not unkind. Mama June nodded absently, her mind still lost in thoughts of the past. She had been on a journey of redemption, trying to mend the fractured bonds with her daughters, especially Pumpkin. But tonight, it seemed the weight of their family crisis was heavier than ever. Left alone in the living room, Pumpkin shifted uncomfortably on the couch. She knew Josh needed space, perhaps more than she could give him. Their marriage had weathered storms before. Financial struggles, arguments, ain't even Mama June's absence. But this felt different. This felt like the calm before a storm they might not survive. A knock at the door startled Pumpkin, breaking her reverie. She glanced over to see Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson peeking in with a mischievous grin. Despite the tension in the house, Alana always managed to bring a spark of levity to their lives. Hey, Pumpkin, whatcha doing? Alana asked, bouncing into the room with her typical youthful exuberance. Just thinking, Pumpkin replied with a half-hearted smile. Alana plopped down next to her sister, swinging her legs over the arm of the couch. About Josh again. Pumpkin sighed. Yeah, I just, I don't know what to do anymore, Alana. It's like he's shutting me out. Alana frowned, her brow furrowing in concern. Have you tried talking to him? Like, really talking? I've tried, Pumpkin admitted, her voice tinged with frustration. But every time I bring it up, he just shuts down. Acts like nothing's wrong. Alana leaned in closer, her voice lowering to a conspiratorial whisper. Maybe you should try something different. You know, spice things up a bit. Pumpkin raised an eyebrow, skeptical. What do you mean? A mischievous glint sparked in Alana's eyes. Well, you know how Josh used to light up whenever you did something sweet for him, like baking his favorite cookies or flirting a little. Pumpkin blushed, a mixture of embarrassment and nostalgia washing over her. I don't know, Alana. It's been so long since we've been like that. I'm not sure he'd even notice. You won't know until you try, Alana insisted, a playful grin spreading across her face. And if it doesn't work, you can blame it on me. Pumpkin chuckled softly, feeling a flicker of hope amidst the uncertainty. Maybe Alana was right. Maybe all they needed was a reminder of the love that had once bound them together. Later that evening, after putting Ella to bed, Pumpkin lingered in the kitchen, her mind racing with Alana's words. She took a deep breath, stealing herself for what she was about to do. With newfound determination, she set to work, mixing flour, sugar, and a dash of courage. When Josh returned home, the smell of freshly baked cookies greeted him like an old friend. He found Pumpkin in the kitchen, a sheepish smile playing on her lips as she presented him with a plate of his favorite treat. Hey, Pumpkin said softly, her eyes searching his face for any sign of the man she loved. Josh hesitated for a moment, his guard momentarily lowered by the gesture. Thanks, Pumpkin, he murmured, taking a cookie and biting into it tentatively. Pumpkin held her breath, waiting for his reaction, for a heartbeat. Their eyes met, and in that fleeting moment, Pumpkin saw a glimmer of the man she had married, the man who had promised to love her through thick and thin. You know, Josh began slowly, his voice quieter than usual. I miss us, Pumpkin. I miss how things used to be. Pumpkin's heart soared with relief and renewed hope. I miss us too, Josh. They stood there in the kitchen, the weight of their unspoken words hanging in the air. For the first time in what felt like forever, there was a flicker of light at the end of the tunnel, a chance to rebuild what had been broken. As the night wore on, Pumpkin and Josh talked, 
really talked about their fears, their hopes, and the scars that had brought them to this moment. They laughed, they cried, and they held on to each other as if the world outside didn't exist. In the days that followed, their journey toward healing was far from over. But with each passing day, Pumpkin and Josh took small steps forward, guided by the love that had weathered storms and emerged stronger. And Mama June, she watched from the sidelines, her heart heavy with both regret and hope. She had caused her family so much pain, but perhaps, just perhaps, she could be part of their healing too. As the sun rose over their home, once more, casting a golden hue over the quiet countryside, Pumpkin knew one thing for certain. No matter what lay ahead, they would face it together. And this time, they would not let go.